your business will fail if there's no culture in it, if there's no spirit, if there's no um, humanness in it. It will not be sustainable. You got to merge business with spirituality. You got to merge. We got to merge the Western world with the indigenous world. And we got to respect the land. We can own a lot of land, but forget it. The land owns us. And if we don't remember that presupposition, we get owned by suffering, by being disconnected to Mother Earth. And we silently suffer through our lives. And we don't know what it is. And sometimes we're suffering so much, we can't even feel the suffering. And until somebody takes the time to go really deep in themselves and feel, because if we don't feel it, it's like it never happened. If we don't take the time to feel and slow down and feel, then essentially we are owned by our minds. And the furthest path for anyone to travel is from the minds to their hearts. And what I'm noticing is the next generation of entrepreneurs, the ones that are doing it, even especially the ones that so-called make it, they're now on the journey of from their minds to their hearts because the heart is a supercomputer. So you might as well, if you haven't made a million dollars yet, you might as well get on that journey soon or now because, because even when you do make your millions, you're going to have to do it anyway. So you might as well start now. Uh, so, tell, so tell me this, because because you were just going down the path of problem solver and and spirituality, but I feel like in business we have to be a problem solver, right? Yeah, there's time, there's usefulness to it. Yeah. So, th so how do we sort of merge the two? Because if it is such a heart centered thing, but our brains are the problem solvers, how do we connect as much as we can? Well, um, some some, I mean, most people live in a concrete jungle. Mm -hmm. um, so this is going to sound very simple for most people, but but yet many people will poo-poo it because it's so simple. But actually, are you doing it is what matters. Who cares what you think about it? Are you actually doing it? And a medicine man or medicine woman will ask you a few things. When was the last time you sang? When was the last time you danced? When was the last time you spent time by the fire? When was the last time you gave somebody a hug? When was the last time you put your feet in the ground? And if you haven't done any of those things, most likely you're pretty miserable. So, uh, so, so the, the so essentially what I'm sharing is is feet in the ground ten minutes a day, minimum. Do you work in a concrete jungle? Get out of it. Find a way to live in a place that feels like a sanctuary. Okay, take walks by yourself in nature. If you eat toxic crap food, you're gonna feel like crap. It's very simple. What you put in your body is a direct communication to your body. So superfoods, organic food, stay to that, clean water. Um, next thing is, is, is spend time with yourself in meditation and, and uh, basic, listen to music in the morning, the stuff that uplifts you, high frequency stuff, turn the news off. Now, but people are listening to this going, I've heard all that. Yeah, well, okay, that's great. But do you do it? Because we can know something. And what I've learned in my life is what, what I know sometimes stops me from actually directly experience it because I confuse knowing something as actually doing it.